got myself a new toy. It's uh, Simplicity. It's a 5010. Kind of hard to tell. I painted over the decals with primer. Just picked it up today. The guy I was talking to at the Steam and Gas show last weekend was telling me how he had one. He doesn't really like Simplicities that much. He has Power Kings. But. So we were talking for a while, turns out he only lives about 10 miles from where I do. And so we worked it out and asked him what he wanted for it. Came out to the place, checked it out. He said, well, would you give me 40 bucks for it? And I was thinking, I about offered him 50. So I said, sure. And take it. And just brought it home a little bit ago. It's been abused. The electrical system's all screwed up. You can look down in here. First, we got a solenoid on the outside here. There's no battery. If you look down in here, uh, you see it? I don't know if you see it or not, but there's another solenoid down there. I don't know why he has this one on there. But, that's not the only thing. And then there's somebody's put a choke cable there. It is missing the linkages. This is just a wire. I have another engine I can cannibalize the linkages off of, I think. And the carburetor, because this carburetor has seen better days. And you can tell. They shouldn't be doing that. It's worn out. The spring should not be there. Bowls. Yeah, bowl looks pretty nasty. But, 40 bucks. See these tires on the back? They were almost brand new. The front ones are original, I think. Maybe not. They actually look new, newer, too. They don't look as new as these back ones. But, I don't see one dry rotting crack in these tires at all. These two back tires are worth more than 40 bucks alone to me. I mean, it did not have a battery in it. Somebody's extended the steering wheel on it. I think this might be the original steering wheel. I haven't looked at it yet to see what these really look like with the style. If they have the style steering wheel or the older style, I'm not sure. But if you look at the hood and the grill, it's a tip hood. It's one of the first tip hoods they made, I think. But it's the same grill as the um, Broadmoors, the flat hood Broadmoors. Tank looks like it's a replacement, but you can, you can see down in there or not. My light doesn't want to pop on my camera, but yeah, it's pretty nasty down in there as far as the gas looks, but the tank is not rusted out. Carburetor needs work, but yeah, so I do a little video before I start working on it. And I'll work on straightening the wiring out tonight. And I'll throw the battery from the B1 in it. Let's see if I can get it to crank over. We'll see if we're getting spark or not. Then I'll work on getting the carb. I have a rebuilt carb that should fit on here. I hope I can release it. I don't think I have a choke link for it. But I'm pretty darn sure I have a throttle link and a new old stock throttle governor spring that should fit on this with this engine. Because I have an, an 11 horse and this is a 10 horse, so there's really not much different between the two engines except the piston bore. A little bit bigger. But yeah, so I do a new video on my new toy. Thinking late 60s, early 70s, probably 70s. Neat little tractor. Oh, another thing. They still, it still articulates in the middle. A lot of times, if they sit for a long time, that'll freeze up, and that can be fun trying to unfreeze. I don't know if it's the tilt seat or not. Maybe it. Nope, I don't think it is. Nope, those are just braces. But, yep. It's a simplicity. 
I don't know if this is what they call a Broadmoor clone. This is what it kind of looks like. It looks about the same as the Broadmoors. The early Broadmoors. Yeah. I'll probably be doing a series on this one when I restore it. Since I got my landlord done, I got a new project.